Hey guys, this is John, and I'm playing Dry County, a Grandmaster, in a three-minute game on chess.com. It's another clock as a weapon video. I am playing in the middle of the day this time. Let's play bishop g5. I'll play the Tory against this system. Yeah, pretty rare, somewhat early-ish video for me. It's about 1 o'clock p.m. All right, looks like black's going to set up a solid position here. They have the bishop pair, but I do dominate the center for the moment. I got the knight pair, which is handy in blitz, right? My reading has been on the climb of late, and I think it's mostly due to time management. Just much better time management. Okay, c6, interesting. I kind of want to go for e5, but it's not working yet tactically, so let's prepare it. Rook fe1. He's probably going to play e5. Yep. Okay, let's just centralize now. Maybe a4, just to stake out some space on the queen side. And knight c4, or take, and then knight c4. Let's play knight c4 first. GM, dry county. With the international flag. Okay, b6. Could take twice, although then it's going to be harder to get in knight d6. Hmm. I'm going to take and maybe play queen e3 tentative plan. This looks like kind of an annoying move, attacking b6, because this structure is a little bit fragile. So if I can apply some pressure, maybe bishop c2 so that on bishop a6 I'm not pinned. I'm also taking a look at this pawn here. Okay. Can I take b6? What's the issue with that? Strange that black is just seemingly giving me that pawn. I guess rook b8 will be the answer. But I think this demands to be taken, so I'm going to do it. I was thinking about pulling the knight back to c4 here. Could take c8 and just try to defend the uh, one of the pawns. But could also pull back to c4. Just think about this for a moment. Hmm. Tough call. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull back to c4. Spent a little bit long on that move. Longer than I would like. Now let's take. I'm threatening knight take c6. This pawn might be doomed is the thing. So if black plays like queen c7, for instance, yeah, we might just have a trade here. Probably have to be okay with that. Let's do it. Okay, maybe bishop c4. Post the bishop on a good diagonal. Position looks roughly even here. Black still has the bishop pair, but I look to be a little bit more actively placed. Try to make up some of this time deficit. No idea who this Grandmaster is. Not one iota of a clue. I might play h3 next, just restrict that light square bishop. Looks like he's going for f5. h3 seems handy, so I'm going to do it. A king h7, just escaping this pin in general. But Let's see if he really wants to commit to f5. Opens the position, but I could take and e5 becomes weak. Queen b6, okay. I could trade and play rook d6. Definitely one thing that comes to mind. I think I should trade and then, yeah, bring the rook in. Try to attack here. Hmm, and black offers a bishop trade. I should probably take that and maybe play over here. Looks like I have some nagging pressure now, rook b7. It's nice that h3 has been played too. Okay, so there. So let's bring this rook in. Now I could double. Yeah, doubling seems to make sense. Black has to play rook f8. Mm -hmm. Let's step here. Just keep black a little tied down. All right, so black goes after this pawn. Okay, I'm going to make that trade. Hmm, hmm. Let's go here. Yeah, e4 is a good move. Now I got to hustle because of the time situation. Oh, yeah, probably had rookie two there. It might have been stronger even. Oh, and I blundered the knight. Ugh, okay. Yeah, that's a bad blunder to make. I think I'm going to resign. Hmm. I underestimated rookie one. Rookie one check. For some reason, I was only thinking that black was going to play rook e2, and then I could play knight c4. So, yeah, my opponent put some good pressure on me on the clock there. 
Of course, because I was talking about my good time management of late in the very first game, <laughs> my opponent flips the script on me. But I actually liked the way that I played it. Hmm, somehow here I lost the thread. Rook a4 was a good decision on his part. Maybe I should play knight d2 here and just defend this pawn. May not be much I'm working with, though. Knight d2 just looks a lot better, though. Because rook d8, I can actually just take here and go after the bishop. Okay, so I dropped the first game, but let's get back in. Ali Rostbod, 2767 FM. It's a high rating. I'm going to play my King's Indian attack against the French. Let's see where this leads. Aha, knight c6. Yeah, this line. Um, don't recall exactly how to play here. I'm going to go queen e2, a bit of an unusual move. But it kind of fits with King's Indian attack structures. Okay, he needs takes. Let's play pawn takes. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to try to fianchetto as planned. He might do some sort of b6, bishop a6 idea, especially if he prefaces it with a5. But we'll, f we'll see. Yeah, a5, there it goes. Let's play h3. I'm going to play this. Looking for knight b3 type ideas against this dark square bishop. Okay, so I got the bishop to retreat. Let's play knight here. Looking for knight f5. Kind of have to watch knight b4 or possibly pawn a4 as well. Uh, pawn a4 followed by knight b4 might be annoying. But we'll see. Okay, so he does play that. Yeah, because the thing is, my knight has to drop back to an awkward square. Hmm. So maybe I should play this move? Kind of looks wrong, but I'm going to try it. Go after his knight here. Otherwise, knight d2, knight b4 was not looking good. Have to improvise. Yeah, now if he plays knight b4, knight d2, at least I'm protecting this. Bishop b4, I can take his knight. Same if he takes there. Okay, so he plays that move. Interesting. So now I think I should play this. Or should I? Knight d2 immediately. Let's play this first. Okay, and if he attacks my queen, maybe swing over, try to do this. I'm blocking my dark square bishop, but I like my knight on f5 for sure. Hopefully I can attack him somehow out of that. Okay, maybe a3 now. a3 or move my knight to f3, let's say. Oh no, that hangs e4. Let's play a3. Mm hmm check let's go here so my bishop is defending he's definitely pretty active here though okay knight d4 good move gotta hide my king now i think so knight e2 i can play queen e1 feels shaky though guys shaky position maybe i can play knight e3 here I'm going to try it just to activate. Dare him to take this. I know I'm disrupting the communication, but then he has then he has to worry about knight f5. Okay, so he plays bishop e2. Let's go here. What is the idea? Knight here now? Ooh, that traps my queen. Yikes. Oh, he didn't see it. Okay. <laughs> this has been an eventful game already. Knight d5 or knight g4 maybe? Let's play knight g4. Got this in mind. Threat. Okay, check. And then I'm going to take here. Then I'm taking c5 as well if he takes my knight on g4. So I'm winning in exchange, interestingly. Knight d5. 
Okay. Um, Got to hustle. Let's play here. I want to go bishop f1. I need to break this kind of pseudo blockade he has going on. And he's going to pressure me on the clock for sure. Yeah, queen there is annoying. Uh, let's take that. Might take with the knight. Probably should take with the knight. Hmm. Try to keep an eye on d2. I know he has a check here, but I wasn't really sure what to do about that. Hmm. Man, hits just keep on coming here. Guess c4. Didn't see anything better. Okay, got to activate. Time is a big problem. Okay, I'm on this pawn though. Check. Let's go take here next. Got to pre move a little bit here. my okay it's just a pre-move fast now you can throw in some random checks here oh i'm losing on time though Ooh, yep he was a little too fast at the end <laughs> look at look at the stats for this one 11 mistakes seven blunders <laughs> pretty sure a lot of that was due to the end game but also in the middle game i think i was in pretty big trouble okay he wants a rematch i'm gonna take that Lost my first two, but high-rated player. I think this is a challenging opponent for me. So glad to play a rematch. Okay, we have an exchange Slav. I thought I would have slowed him down a little bit on the clock there, but it didn't happen, unfortunately. So what can you do? Okay, let's play e6. This is some theoretical stuff here. Let's go rook c8. 92. Okay, I haven't seen 92 before. Let's chase his dark score bishop. Okay. Let's play knight here. Get this back in the game. Also menacing knight b4 in addition to knight takes e5. Okay, so he puts a stop to that. Let's take. Now I gotta watch out for g4, so I'm gonna go here. Block his bishop as well. Hopefully this turns out to be a bit of a weakness for him. Some good, tough opponents here early in the day. I like it. Might play h4 if he gets ambitious. Okay, I'm thinking about queen h4 myself in this position. Looks kind of like a tempting move. Attack this. Got to be a little cautious about my queen safety, but I think it's fine. Uh, maybe bishop b5 is decent. Okay, so I should probably play a6. I think a6 is pretty handy here. Just take control of this square. The knight on g7 looks poorly placed at the moment. Usually a knight on a fianchetted bishop square is not good. But I hope in the future it becomes relevant. So let's go here. Okay. Back the queen off. I think I have a perfectly fine position. Already a pretty big question where he's going to castle. So maybe f6 here. Yeah, maybe open up this wing before he clamps with g5. The king goes to g2, maybe my bishop can come to c6 at some point in the future. I like the look of that. Mm -hmm. e4, wow, aggressive, opening the position. But I can castle in this knight's under attack twice. Okay, thinking about bishop c6 or d4. Let's go bishop c6. 
Same diagonal as his king, even though there's a lot of pieces in the way for the moment. But looking for that diagonal to open up in the future. Maybe queen f4 next. Moves like that. Okay, let's drop this guy back just so there's no unpleasant discoveries that bishop was hanging on c5. So, okay, let's go queen f4 as planned. Very tough for him to move. If I can dislodge this knight, I'm basically winning. Queen takes f2. Winning something. So I might even double up on the f-file, triple up, that is, if I can get away with it. Mm, Got to be careful, though. Can take twice on d5 if I do that. Okay, let's go here first. Might force him to play rook f1 to move his knight away. But even that, I think, is a problem if I'm tripled up. I can still play queen takes f2 and win something. Okay, take. Ooh, really? Okay. Interesting decision there. So queen takes f2. He's just going to allow it. All right, well, let's definitely play it. Come back here. My bishop's guarding this. B2 is loose, but I need to tend to my rook first. I can take here, but I will take this guy. Okay, let's take. Okay, so I'm up a pawn. Still ways to go to convert this. But good start. Get this in the game. Okay, and try to attack. Nice post for the knight, I think. Um, I'm not going to trade rooks. I'm going to try to play rook b8, I think. Let's go here first. I have knight f5, also I'm hitting that. Okay, take. His knight's in trouble now. Um, let's give a check, just push him away a little bit. Go here. Okay, stay active. Not sure about this last move. He can't take here, though, on g6, at least for now. Um, okay, let's just push that. He still can't take. So that drops the rook. All right. Hard-fought game. I had some pressure out of the opening, though. I think his whole g4 idea, the move order in the opening, wasn't so accurate. So, All right, he wants a rematch. Turning into a bit of a thematic match here. But again, high-rated player. I like how this guy is challenging me on the clock. So let's keep playing him. Let's play, let's play bishop c4. See what kind of setup he adopts. Hmm, interesting. Okay, I'm gonna go with the knight ge2 approach. And e5, very quick e5. Okay, let's take. Takes with the knight, all right. Let's pin. Maybe queen d2, bishop h6 in the future if I get the chance. Now I'm going to go here, so queen d2, if he castles, I can hit that pawn on h6. Gain some time here, make him defend against that threat. Let's castle queen side, make this a fight. I'm threatening bishop takes e5. Okay. Uh, king b1, usually a good type of move in these positions. Might try for f4. Yeah, let's kick that knight away. See what we can make happen in the center. Can I go here? Probably not quite. 
Hmm. He is threatening e4, though. Need to do something about that. It's a little bit awkward for me. Don't like what I did here. Yeah, my last move was a mistake. Knight d5 possible. Okay, I'll play knight d5. I'm not thrilled about this move. But I sort of feel like I have to play it. Maybe I should take with a bishop if he takes. Now nah, let's take with a pawn. If he takes e4, I can take c7 if I want. It's kind of my plan. Okay, take c7. Yeah, let's do it. I wonder if he's going to go a4 here. I see I have knight c3. This gets complicated, but I'm going to do this. I'm not going to take that rook on a8. I'd rather fight for the initiative. a3 here. Yeah, I think it's fine. Queen b6, I can take a8 with tempo. Uh, queen a5, though. Queen a5 is a mistake. I missed this. Queen a5 is a good move. That is, my move was a mistake. <laughs> hmm. Do, do, do. Okay. I'm going to go here. Try to get some pawns for that piece. Not a great situation, but if I can gather another pawn, hopefully I uh, have some compensation. Though 94 in the air is annoying. Okay, take. Not sure why he gave me that one. Strange decision. I'm on the bishop, I'm also on f7. Okay, active move. Let's take this, probably need to. Take the file, stop knight e4. Yeah, knight h5 is a good move. I'm going to give him f4, try for activity. I fully realize I'm giving him pawns here and such, but I want to keep my queen side intact. So if I can play like this move, I have chances. Now let's push. Uh, can he just take this? I think he can just take that. Well, I guess I have this move if he does. All right. Hmm. Okay, trying to stay active. Got the three pawns. Um, let's go here. So if rookie eight, I can go here. He's probably going to see that. Hmm. Okay, let's do this. Maybe bishop d2 next, followed by b4. It's possible. Mm -hmm. He is annoyingly active here. He might just be able to take this pawn. I think he can. I'm going to go here if he does. And he can take a3, perhaps. No, probably not. Okay. Still behind on the clock a little bit. Okay, got to get active somehow. Still, still striving for that activity. Let's pull this guy away. Maybe some checks. Or bring my king up. He's escaping fairly easily from the checks at the moment, so. Okay, got to push. Rook b6. Okay, he's kind of pinning himself. Okay, let's take. Got a couple of pawns that should be annoying for him to deal with. Oh, he's just going to play it simple. Playing it smart. Yeah. Should be winning for him. My king is so far away. He can keep me cut off too. I'm going to try a dirty trick. <laughs> okay. 
yeah, I think I'm just slowly going to lose there if I if I try to play normal. So I tried a dirty blitz trick and it didn't work before resigning. Okay, and last game of the session, I'm going to play him one more time to make it an even four games against this player. I actually in the past have not tried tricks like that because I often forget to do them in desperate positions, but, <laughs> you know, they're fun to try to see if they work. This guy is a strong FM. I think just based on the way he's played these Blitz games, he's definitely better than that title. It's always hard to say based on Blitz, but... Okay, go here. I played the black side of this line several times before. It's solid. White's a little, little bit better, but nothing, nothing too major. So pretty typical of lots of openings. Hmm, B3. All right, let's just castle against that. Maybe play A5, A5, A4. Hmm. He's perhaps looking to take if I play a4, so I might post my queen on a6. Let's first bring this rook over. Pretty quiet position here so far. If he plays a4, then knight d5 becomes more attractive because I can post my knight on b4 in the future. Hmm. Let's play h6. Just try to stop knight g5. And I think now I'll play this. Take take queen b2 is likely. Maybe f6 here. Just stop him from playing down this diagonal. Mm -hmm. Step here, I'm attacking b3. Pull this bishop back. Hmm. Let's go here. Okay, maybe some bishop e4 ideas in mind. I guess I'm okay with the potential trade of the bishops. Let's first attack his rook here, so you make sure he moves it. I think a bishop trade's pretty likely. Yeah, him moving that away. Let's take it. Mm -hmm. Go here, maybe B B6 in mind. I'll let him take here if he wants to trade two rooks for a queen and pawn. I don't think he will. And now I was thinking just queen here. We'll probably get his king out of the way. Okay, he doesn't. C5 was what I was thinking, but maybe knight e4 first. With c5 on the way, maybe he'll play b4 to stop me. No. Okay, let's go here. Definitely like my activity. If he takes, I can take. And I feel like that should be a slight issue for him. Uh, he has knight d4, I guess. It's kind of a double attack here. Also that. Ah, he has knight e1. All right, passive though. Yeah, I feel pretty active now. Can I exploit this somehow? Let's play the queen in. B4, I can always play knight a4 with tempo is my thinking. Or knight d3 even. See, knight d3 and then take. Let's do that. I'm trying to keep control of the C file after some trades. I'm a little bit ahead on the clock, not much. Hmm. Okay, he's going to play it like this. I actually didn't consider that, and I should have. Don't know why I didn't consider that. Take he has rook d4. Okay, so let's go here. Try to attack this guy. I 
I have to break his rook coordination now. That'll be important going forward. Let's play h5 first. Try to be annoying. Uh, this, this pawn might be a goner, actually. So he's just going to look to trade. Don't really want to trade. Stay active here. Check. Okay, let's go here. Yeah, looking to keep the pressure on him here. His knight is pretty awkwardly placed for the time being. Um, it's a good move though. Ah, check, wow. Blundered right into check. He had a tactic there. Ooh, and he blundered this, okay. Ah, wondering that, man. Just very bad. Oof, okay. I think he took the draw. Ooh, <laughs> I can't believe I blundered my knight on e5. It looks so stable right there. Get it, stable knight. And it fell off the wagon. <laughs> How did I do that? Yeah, just straight blundered it after queen e2. Oh, I actually didn't, I thought I blundered it a move before, but queen b2, I was still defending it, so that was fine. Yeah. Tough player. I think that's the ideal blitz player, blitz style right there. So just the way that guy plays. Plays fast, tricky. You know, even though I missed that he was getting two rooks against my queen, I actually didn't mind that transformation the way, to the way it played out with a minute each on the clock because the queen-knight combo is notoriously dangerous because it doesn't reproduce any of the same piece movements. So I felt pretty good about that. But yeah, not good about my blunder coming up. How did he just move so fast to navigate the tactics? I mean, he did blunder a knight, so. <laughs> but yeah, his recognition of some of the stuff was really quite quick here. Like he saw rook takes e5 in one second. And previously my queen was defending that knight. So that's, that's impressive that he picked up on that so fast. I was trying to play my queen over, get my knight to d3, and create some threats like knight e1. Is this work on f4 is kind of holding his position together. But yeah, completely missed that. I'm happy to have saved a draw, given the time situation. I probably had a possible way to play for checkmate, like right here. I should play queen g1, threatening queen h1 mate. Although he could play rook back. Who knows, I might have flagged if that had happened. All right, so tough session. That first game against the Grandmaster, Dry County, and then four games against this very strong FM. I gotta look this guy up. Ali Rasbad. Yep. Iranian player. A lot of these, Iran is an up and coming chess country, as evidenced by their, their junior talent. So, Faruja and Parhamov, those two guys are leading the pack, but they just have a number of really strong players coming out of that country. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this session. Not my best session, but as you can see, the competition is ramping up, and I like diving in and playing them. So, thanks as always for watching me. All right, enjoy your, gate, er, enjoy your day, guys. I was trying to merge those two words. <laughs> and I will be back again soon with another video.